Hey guys, it's David here from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to solve problems using differentiation of trigonometric functions. This question comes from the 2021 exam paper. It's paper one, question five, and we're gonna be doing part B. So in this question, we're told the diagram below shows T, the tangent line to H of X equals two sine of two X. So this trig function here is two sine of two X. And the point zero K here, we're asked to find the value of K. So we're going to do this in a few steps. So first of all, we know that the point A, 0k, is on the line t. So what we're going to try to do is find the equation of the line t. And we know the equation of a line can be written as y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a, any point on the line, and m is the slope of the line. So now what we're gonna do is try to find x1 and y1 and n. So we'll do x1 and y1 first. We're gonna use this point here on the diagram at the point x is pi over six. So if we sub in x is pi over six into h of x, because we know that that's when t intersects, it's at the ta that, that, that tangent, that tangent point, we'll be able to find out what the point on t is. So we have h of x, we're gonna have h of pi over six equals two sine of two pi over six. And when you put that into your calculator and make sure your calculator is in radians, you're gonna get root three. So we know now that x1, y1 is going to be pi over six root three. That's x1, y1. And now to find the slope, we're going to differentiate h of x and plug in pi over six, because we'll get the rate of change at that point, at the point which it intersects t, which will give us the slope at that point. And because t touches that point as well, it'll give us the slope of t, of the line t. So we're gonna differentiate two sine two x. So hx equals two sine two x. So h prime of x or h dash of x. This is gonna be a chain rule type of differentiation. So what you do when you're doing the chain rule is you do the outside, and then you do the inside of the bracket and then you multiply them together. So, because there is a complicated rule in the log book, but that's essentially what it's telling you. So we're gonna differentiate two sine of two X as if it was just two sine X. When you look in your calculus page in your log book, you'll see that sine X differentiated becomes cosine or cos X. So the first bit of this differentiation will be two sine or two cos of two X. And that's going to be multiplied by, now we need to differentiate what's inside the bracket. So we, we differentiated what's outside the bracket, and now we need to differentiate what's inside the bracket. So the derivative of two X will just be two. So H prime of X is going to be two times two cos of two X, which will be four cos two X. So now that we have the derivative of H of X, we can plug in pi over six. So we'll have H prime of pi over six equals four cos of two pi over six, which will give you two. So now we know the slope m equals two. So now we can try write the equation of the line t. So t equals y minus y1 is gonna be root three equals m, which is two times x minus pi over six. So now we will, we have our equation, we can sub in for x1 and y1, or x and y, for the point zero and k, because that's the point that we're looking for, we're looking for k. So we're gonna have k minus root three equals two times zero minus pi over six. So now we'll multiply it out, and we're gonna add root three to both sides to bring it over, so we'll have k equals root three plus two times zero is just gonna be zero, and two times minus pi over six will be minus two pi over six. So now we've isolated K. Now we're gonna put this into our calculator and again, make sure it's in radians. And what you're gonna get is K equals 0 0.6848. And it's at two decimal places. So K equals 0 0.68. So now you know how to solve problems using differentiation of trigonometric functions. If you ever have a problem like this, where you have a tangent to a different a, a trigonometric function, if you differentiate that function, 
you're going to be able to find the slope of the line, which will aid you in finding the equation of the line. This type of question does come up every couple of years. So it's very important to realize that if you differentiate this trigonometric function, so if we differentiate it to sine 2x and we sub in the point at which it is the tangent to t, that will give us the slope of t. So if you do that exact thing, when these questions come up, if this type of question comes up in your exam, you'll have absolutely no problem with answering it.